What's up everybody? This is Future Automation, a place where imagination meets reality and you're listening to Tejas. So guys, in previous video, we have studied how we can use PIR sensor with Arduino. In this video, what we are going to do is we are going to see how we can use this uh, IR sensor with Arduino and detect uh, what is, is there any obstacle in front of us? And based on that, we are going to take some respect to actions. So with a cup of coffee, let's get started. Okay, so uh, let's get to the IR sensor first. So first I'll explain you what are the features of IR sensor and then we'll go with the uh, pinout diagram and other explanation. So the model that we will be using is HW201. For those who want to buy this sensor, the link will be in the description. So make sure you check it out. And for those who are new and didn't check the previous video, make sure you check out the previous video as well. The playlist is already having the link in the description. So make sure you check it out. All the videos are added in the playlist. And for the code, you can always go on my GitHub and you can try it out. And also fork the projects so that you can do your own uh, you can clone the projects to do your own coding and based on that you can make any changes so do let me know if you do anything on that and now moving back to the back to the sensor so basic working of the infrared sensor is that what it will do is it will transmit uh, IR, IR rays from one uh, one LED that is one emitter and then if there is any obstacle in between it will detect that and it will detect that using this receiver and based on that it will send the in out in output uh, through this out pin to Arduino and then based on that we will detect and we will do some actions using that. Now the features for this particular is that uh, particular module is that uh, its distance ranging sense is around 2 to 30 centimeter there is a 35 degree of uh, detection angle to this and it is very easy to use so you will all you will anyhow see today how we are going to use it now let's move to the pin diagram and see how exactly this module is made so if you see on the screen you can see that uh, we have a IR receiver here as I said so if we will go by the module again you can see that this is the IR receiver let me try to bring in a little bit close yeah so you can see that this is the IR receiver and then we have IR emitter so what IR emitter does is it will emit uh, some IR rays which will be reflected if there is any obstacle and received by the IR receiver next to that we have a distance adjustment knob so this is the distance adjustment knob so what it does is if you want to change the range of obstacle you can do that using this obstacle ranging sense so if you want to say to catch a distance which is not right now nearer but a little bit far so based on that you can change this knob and the range is from 2 to 30 centimeters and next to that we have two LEDs so if you'll see in the diagram again here we have one power LED and one obstacle LED so this is the power LED at the top and bottom this one is the obstacle LED so, uh, LED. so if there is any time the uh, obstacle in front of the sensor this LED will glow next to that we have three pins so aligning the sensor in the similar fashion as we are having in the uh, image you can see that the topmost is the vcc most of the time if you see that on the sensor they will have already marked the uh, let me just try to focus and see if it is focusing so you can see that at the top of the pins we have vcc ground and out so that is what the pinout diagram is but it's always good to have a pinout diagram in handy as i said in previous video as well so at the top one we get the vcc in between we have ground and at the bottom we are having out so this is what this depicts now we are done with the diagram and we are done with the specification let's go to the coding part now before moving to the coding part let's connect it to Arduino and I have already kept the code also ready so that I can explain you and <clears throat> let's let's clear it out one second so clear desktop close okay now 
<clears throat> what we'll be doing is we'll be connecting the sensor to pin number two so let's do that and don't don't forget to check cross check the pins that you are connecting because that can make a lot of mess uh, if you are connecting it connecting it wrong okay so the black one will be to the ground the black one will be to the ground and the red one is 5 volts so make sure you always have a colored code which can help you in connecting different pins on arduino and it will also help you in connecting understanding how is the connection so i usually go black for ground and red for vcc that is 5 volts and the next one will be pin number two for the oh. so this is the connection as simple as that and this is what we'll be doing now i'll keep the sensor in in a way so that we can just you know okay so okay let's bring our buddy here so this is one of my buddy which i can which can hold it for me thanks bro okay so now what we'll do is i'll explain you the code so that you can get an idea let me just zoom out a little bit okay <clears throat> now let's go to the code so initially what we have done is we have already declared two of uh, variables that is one is sensor pin and one is led pin although we are using the built-in led but we can also use an external led maybe the selenide lock so that is again another video that i'll be putting off and also i'll be i will be putting off a shot of how we can use selenide lock so you can just go ahead and use that with the same sensor so we'll be creating that project soon uh, in coming videos next to that in setup mode what we are doing is we are declaring the pin modes of both the sensors so one will be and input and one will be a output and next to that what we'll be doing is there will be a serial begin to print something and then what we'll be doing is we'll be digitally reading the sensor value since we have declared it as an input and we'll be saving it in one of the variable because it is giving an active high or low that is a basically int uh, input that is either zero or one now uh, as i said that it will give you an inverted output to arduino that is if a distance is detected it will give you active low and if it is not detected it will give you an active high so you need to make sure that the conditions of code should also be inverted that is if the obstacle value is equal to equal to low then the obstacle is detected and if the value is high then the obstacle there is no any obstacle and will give a delay of 0.5 seconds so that will be more than enough now uh, i have already i have already burned the code but let's do it one more time so I'll burn the code here. Keep a look on the Arduino and we'll open the serial monitor here. Let's close it and open it one more time. Okay, so you can see that there is no any obstacle detected here. And now if I'm bringing my hand close, you can see that it is showing obstacle detected and the LED here is blinking. If I leave it, it'll close. And then again, no obstacle detected. So this is what the simple principle of uh, IR sensor is. Although IR sensor is used for a lot of more things. So few of the things that I can let you know is flame monitors, obstacle detections, as I said right now that we are doing robotics. So line follower is one of the project that we will be doing, which is something that is used uh, that is done using again IR sensors here. So what it does is it basically follows a path and then it will it will if the there is a turn in between then it will follow the same path the robot will get turned so we'll be doing that project soon in that also we will be using ir sensors then we have gas detectors gas detectors gas analyzers we have there are security devices so since ir module works for infrared radiations we can also use it for security devices and sometimes they are also used for thermal imaging so that is one of the uh, i think uh, benefits of using ir 
uh, module so yep that's it guys this is the video for today and it has been really fun and i'm really excited moving on with uh, what all things we can do next we'll be having selenite locks we'll be having settle selenite balls we'll be having uh, uh i think in IR, irf irf card the modules will be having uh, stepper motors and a lot of things. So stay tuned and then we'll be combining all the things and creating different, different projects. And yeah, if you are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you are already subscribed, make sure you hit the like button. Share all your views, your comments in the comment section. If you have any queries, make sure you do that as well. And keep innovating, guys. Take care. Thank you.